Oh, look at the time. Wow. It's time for Wisdom Wednesday, our second one of 2024. Hi, I'm Mark Sweeney, uh, founder of Austin Dental Spa. And this, if you haven't tuned into a Wisdom Wednesday before, this is the beautiful Krista DeKirsten, who is Dr. Krista, as we call her. And Dr. Kirsten is here, but she's too short to show up on the... No, <laughs> actually, Dr. Kirsten is training for a marathon, and she didn't run this morning. So she had to leave early to go get in her 10 miles or something uh, because she's six weeks away from marathon time. So it's just the two of us. We got half the K team here <laughs> and the old guy. Um, um, and so... As you know, if you've tuned in before, we always have some fun with scientific topics, things that hopefully are of use to you. Today will hopefully be no different. And then we always throw in a health tip, which will be very apropos for the cold weather we're getting, because even in Austin, Texas, if you've been checking the national weather map, that cold weather goes all the way down even below us to San Antonio. They've gotten freezing temperatures in, in uh, all the way farther south than San Antonio. We were below freezing for over 48 hours. It finally warmed up to the 40s today. And if you're not from Texas, you may be laughing, but Texans do not know how to drive when the roads are dry, <laughs> much less how to drive when it's cold and rainy. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's been a little bit of a challenge around here, but we've weathered the storm. No pun. Yeah, pun intended. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, as you also know, if you've tuned in before, we have a theme every month. And our theme for the month of January is let's soar in 24. And I mean S-O-A-R, not S-O-R-E. Um, we're talking about soaring with the eagles. And so, uh, show me one more time. Oh, no, no more times. <laughs> uh, we're soaring with the eagles in 2024. And today is no different. We've got some interesting stuff. Mm -hmm. um, there are some statistics on the next page. Uh, this will come as no surprise to most of you. All the gym memberships. If you go to the gym right now, second week of January, it's full. People sign up for gym memberships in December and January. They give them away as gift certificates. But did you know that 4% uh, of the new gym memberships uh, every year, 4% of them will have quit by the end of January? 4%? Oh, yeah. my gosh. How well, about the next one? By the end of February? 14%. Oh. Y'all yes. know this if you go to gyms at all. I've been and one of them. Six months. Mm -hmm. How about after the, by the end of June? Fifty percent of gym memberships, people just aren't going anymore. So they either paid for a year's uh, <laughs> annual membership and they're done. Uh, my idea has always been start a new business and make it a gym for the first three months of the year, and by mid March turn it into a wine bar. Oh, I and love that. And push the gym membership, <laughs> push the gym equipment to the sides um, for the few people who still want to use yeah. it. But It works also great sometimes yeah. as a coat rack. <laughs> so anyway, why is that? Because exercising is not fun for most people. Mm -hmm. If you know somebody who says going to the gym is fun, find some new friends. Um, <laughs> because... Going to happy hour is fun. Going to the gym is only fun if you used to be addicted to happy hour and mm -hmm. now, yeah. now you're looking for something else to do. Um, now, I'm making fun of the gym uh, goers out there. Like I Kirsten. Have quite a few of them, like Kirsten, yeah. is out there running to, in the 40 degree weather instead of having fun with us. <laughs> um, so, how can you make exercising fun? Well, we found an article that had 40 different ways, four, zero, mm -mm. Uh, 40 different ways to make what, to make fun uh, and still be active. We narrowed it down to five. Thank you, Laura Lewis, our, our script writer. Uh, it was eight yesterday and I said, Got to got to do better than that. So <laughs> it, it is. So we did five. not pick these. We, took, we picked the top 
Uh, yeah, exactly. Now, some of these were, I had to do my own research on this. Uh -huh. Number one, live action role playing. And I, I had to go look that up and see, is this really a legitimate thing? But there actually is a URL mm -hmm. called LARP for Live Action Role Play Finder, LARPfinder.com. And you can find all kinds of people in your community who were otherwise normal appearing, hardworking American citizens <laughs> who are into role playing with things like uh, sword fighting with um, lightsabers lightsabers and um, um, you know they they had that thing a couple of years ago about um, what was the not Google it was one of the uh, um, the the apps on a phone that people little groups of people were walking around downtown Austin and they all had their phones out and oh, they give them Pokey, Poke, Pokemon Go, Poke Pokemon Go, Go yeah, game. People point. were doing that, so you can do Game of Thrones, and and you, there, there's all kinds of interesting stuff out there uh, to get. So you're active because yeah. you're out walking around or running or mm -hmm. whatever, but that's one way. So L A R P Live Action Role Play Finder dot com. Go check it out. Another one would be, next time you have a meeting, why does it have to be sitting in a chair? It could be an active meeting. Suggest something like, let's go throw a baseball and talk about this, or let's go for a bike ride, frisbee, golf, tennis, even a hike. All that can be held while having a meeting. I used to have meetings with my orthodontist uh, early in our career, and he w knew I was a tennis player, and he had been, so he would come out to the tennis court, and he had a box along with his tennis rackets. And at the changeovers, every two games, you change sides of the court. And in between sets, he would open that box and he'd have models of people's teeth uh, that I had sent to him. And we'd do a little mini consultation right there on the tennis court. We got a lot of strange looks from people, <laughs> but this is what she's talking about, mm -hmm. is doing something active where you're gonna take breaks and you can carry on your business sitting on a park bench at the hike and bike trail while you're taking a bike ride. I see people all the time walking on the hike and bike trail and they're involved in pretty deep conversations. Um, and so it can be done, mm -hmm. be creative. Another one is number three, I should say, is playing childhood games. And this could be as simple as capture the flag, kick the can, home base. Oh, I love to play home base when I was young. Remember Twister? Twister. Yeah, those oh, are fun things. Now, Monopoly, you're sitting on your butt, yeah. so it's not going to do it even if you win uh, uh, and buy Park Square but, or Park Avenue. But mm -hmm. um, anyway, it's think about that. There are some of the games that we played, hide and go seek. There are all kinds of things that make you get off out of the chair and get active. Um, so how about dancing? You want to put on an impromptu dance party? <laughs> I know. I've got several patients that dance while they're cleaning the house. They put on 70s music because they're close to my age, uh, if not the same age, and they dance while they're cleaning house or while they're washing the dishes. And they're, you know, doing the... <laughs> while they're while while they're actively doing something else instead of just standing still, so um, try it out. Mm -hmm. Something worth do a karaoke party at your house. Invite some friends over, and pe if you pick the right songs, you're going to be dancing, and so are other people uh, while you're belting it out and irritating the neighbors. Yes. Last one on our list is to literally just fidget more. And that means tapping your toes, twitching your leg, getting up, sitting back down, grabbing some coffee, doing laps around your office. Heck, when was the last time you took the stairs instead of taking the elevator? Good point, mm -hmm. good point. There's actually a study uh, that was done, I think it was just, just reported in the journal Science that thin people tend to fidget more. They tend to walk around while they're at work. They tend to not sit, whereas overweight people tend to be more sedentary. And they didn't draw a direct correlation that, okay, if you sit around all day long, you're going to get fat. But they did say that 
their observation was that more fit people tended to be more active. They couldn't sit still for very long. They got up and walked around. So if you're at work and you're doing something, get one of those desks that raises up so you mm -hmm. can stand up and kind of dance or shift feet while you're working, while you're still on your computer, but you're doing something. Yep. You can. I know people that take laps around their office mm -hmm. uh, at, at lunch break. I've got a couple of ladies here that during the lunch break when it's not freezing temperatures outside, they finish eating 20, 30 minutes early and they go outside and they walk around the building a couple of times. Just A, get some fresh air. Secondly, probably get away from me. Uh, <laughs> and uh, But they, they stay fit doing that. Mm -hmm. Several of them take the stairs on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. So I can tell because their faces are all red when they get here because we're on the fifth <laughs> floor. So uh, anyway, you know, you don't, it, it doesn't have to be uh, difficult. You can make this fairly simple. And uh, the, the same study found that the typical person that fidgeted burned like 350 calories a day. Wow. That computes to 30 pounds a year yeah, that you can burn just by getting up and walking around more mm -hmm. than, you know, the old thing about uh, three times a week getting out and doing cardio stuff just walking around your block for 20 minutes a day three times a week will burn enough calories to keep you from gaining weight mm -hmm. uh, this is actually doing it at work and just being more active so um, if you don't know what we're talking about come come to my office tomorrow we got some boxes that we need to carry up from downstairs in the parking yeah. lot <laughs> yeah you can volunteer um, <laughs> okay health tip for the week let's We've hear had it two people out with flu um well one missed one day because her mm -hmm. kid was sick um and another had a sick kid that her parents are taking care of uh, only three years old um but mm -hmm. their temperature went up to 102 over the weekend in addition to being stuck inside with freezing temperatures this is flu season and whether you got a flu sh shot or not uh, it's, you're, you're still out there at risk with all the flu bugs in the air. So, um, uh, so do something. One, one thing that's about as simple as it gets, vitamin D. Uh, some of the uh, Scandinavian countries actually give their citizens vitamin D supplements to take during, because their winter starts in October and lasts until about April. But the, these governments uh, found that by giving their citizens free vitamin D supplements that it kept them from getting as sick during those months when they don't even see the sun. Mm -hmm. Same thing will apply here in Texas with these overcast, rainy, cold days. Um, what are some good sources of vitamin D? Well, it could be in some calcium and it could be in the the sun and Oh, there's, I feel like so many good foods. Cod liver oil used to be big oh, when I gosh. was a kid. Thank God that's kind of quit. My mother tried it on us uh, once or twice, and we threatened to move to another city. Um, oh, so yeah. that's awful stuff. But you can get the same thing from fatty fish. Mm -hmm. You can actually buy the the gel caps now of the deep, deep cold water fish oils the omega-3 and omega-6s and just swallow the capsule you, you don't go. even have to taste it like the cod liver stuff it doesn't digest till it gets in your stomach and beyond so it you and you can do it the cheap and easy way just go to the store and buy vitamin d supplements that works but however you do it mm -hmm. all you need i think the recommended daily dose is like 200 individual units of uh of, of vitamin d per day i take 500 um, and so it's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. So that's our health tip for the week. And we'll be back next week for Woo another version of Wisdom Wednesday. And it's supposed to warm up here in Austin and then get cold again. Mm -hmm. And thank you, Krista, for helping us out today. Oh, you're so and welcome. We will see you next week for another version of Wisdom, Wisdom Wednesday. Wednesday. Woo!